This tutorial is to teach you how to take a map warper rectified map and put it into ArcGIS so that you can use it in story maps. It's a relatively simple process, but it takes a few steps. So this will walk you through all those steps. Uh, what I've done is I've created a, a rectified map of a downtown business district uh, map from 1927 for Indianapolis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that map and we're already familiar with these tabs if you've used Map Warper before. And you'll notice that one of the options is Export. So I'm going to click on the Export tab and this is the URL that I'm interested in. I'm interested in grabbing the tiles of the um, rectified image so that I can have ArcGIS pull this from the Map Warper website. So I'm going to copy that. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go into our ArcGIS site and what I want to do is I want to upload a new map into my content. So I click on map and this is what pops up. In order to add the layer that I just created in Map Warper, I simply go under add and there's a drop down here that allows me to add a layer from the web. And I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask me where I or what type of data I'm getting. And the type of data that I'm getting is a tile layer. So I'm going to click on a tile layer. And then I'm just going to drop my URL into here. Um, the title, which you do have to choose, is going to be Indianapolis Business District 1927 for reference. And since I already have one of these, I'm just going to label this B for myself so I know the difference. And I'm just going to do a short credit, uh, which is rectified by me because I'm just going to delete this later. And then I'm going to click on add layer. And it's done. You can see on the left hand side here, we have created a layer in our contents for this map called Indianapolis Business District 1927. If we want to check on it, we're going to have to zoom in here on Indianapolis. And if we zoom in, you'll notice that that map layer is layered over the center of the city. This is exactly what we want it to do. So it seems to be working great. What we'll want to do though is we're going to want to save this map for ourselves so that we can use it in our story maps. So we go to save here and we're just going to save this as the Indianapolis business district I'm going to label it B again because I already have this in there. And you do have to add tags, so I'm going to label it as Indianapolis. And then I'm simply going to save that map. There we are. So now we have the map saved as Indianapolis Business District. Uh, this is our map warper image, which has been imported. And we can go back to our story maps um, under content here. And I actually have a test story map created for myself. So I'm going to go into my test story map. And I can edit that story map in here. And you'll notice I already have this map uploaded here. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to click plus, I'm going to choose map, and you'll notice these are the maps uh, that I have already. This is the one that we just created, the Indianapolis Business District B. So I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to scroll in to the center of the map so I don't see the borders of the other map. And that, in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, will allow me to choose that resolution and that um, 
image frame and by, by clicking on place map. So I'm going to click on place map here. And that's that. In my story map, I now have that map. You will notice that the map I have in here uh, is very pixelated. And that is simply because I did not choose a very high resolution image. So that's not, this isn't the best map to choose, uh, but I chose it because it was pretty easy to rectify quickly. Um, but that is how it all works. And now you know how to upload a map warper layer to ArcGIS and then insert it into a story map.